take 10 and here goes the message that I don't necessarily want to speak but I'm going to obediently release a cataclysmic storm for this take 10 and I'm going to do this in take one by the power of the Holy Spirit because my prayer has been okay God if you want to do this then over to you you do this you speak this through me back in the summer I had oh gosh springtime last year I had a dream and in this dream I saw there was a beautiful sunny day and I saw this huge wave and I looked in awe at this wave that was approaching because I knew nothing had the power to stand before the face of that wave. And as it came, the wave swept me and everything around me up in its power and in its grasp. And I, in this dream, I remember I was being pushed back back and back and there was debris all around me and there wasn't fear because I knew that God was with me but I was calling on the name of the Lord and I was holding my breath under this wave knowing it was the most unnatural environment to be in and that one naturally you wouldn't be able to survive within and until it came to the point with this debris and stuff just flying everywhere and I'm being pushed back and back and back and I'm calling on the name above every name the name of Jesus that when I could hold my breath no longer I began to breathe easy right there was an air pocket that was providing for me the breath to breathe and I sensed the Holy Spirit speak to me from that dream that the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, who means breath of God, is with us, is with the children of God, is our dependency, is upon God, upon Jesus, upon the Holy Spirit, upon the very breath of God for everything. We will succeed. More than that, we will have everything we need and so much more. We will live in the overflow of God's miraculous power provision and presence which will bring the blessing to our lives and I was conscious then in this dream then of my my children my family those who I loved my heartbeats and I began to I was about to call on Jesus for my concern as to their well-being and instantly the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart Christine all is well Remember, you place them on the rock. The Lord spoke to me that whatever we see breaking out, the cataclysmic storm, the tsunami of evil, men's wicked agendas uh, being outworked on the earth, we need fear no evil for God is with us us and God will protect us just as he protected Noah. The Bible tells us that just as the days were in Noah's time so will it be in the last days and those were days of protection for Noah and for all of his family within the ark. That ark represents God's presence. It represents that place that as kingdom kids we are not of this world but we can live in the full provision and protection of the kingdom of God and our connection to the kingdom of God is the beautiful Holy Spirit, our lifeline, the one where we will be able to breathe supernaturally when fear takes out so many because in the last days men's hearts will fail them for fear but instead we are going to have that beautiful divine supply, that oxygen supply that will never run out for our lives. The Ruach, the Holy Spirit, the presence of God that will connect us as we are dependent on the Holy Spirit and we choose not to live independent of the Holy Spirit. We are going to just live in that overflow of God's kingdom everywhere we go. And the Lord wants you to know, place everything upon the rock. The rock is Jesus. May your life in these days and the days ahead be built continually built. You're not going to be torn down, but built 
up on the rock that is Christ Jesus. We read in Jude, is it, to build yourselves up in your most holy faith, praying in the Spirit. There it is again, right there, our dependency on the Holy Spirit. When we pray in the Spirit, it's beyond our own understanding, our own ways, our own thinking. It's a place of surrender to the Holy Spirit. And internally, that will be building us up strong like a mighty fortress able to face anything externally because we walk in the power love and grace of our God and may love be our only response to those around us too in Jesus name and I'm going to share with you what the Lord spoke to me on cataclysmic storm we've seen it released uh, on our earth uh, we've seen the beginnings of those birth pains that the Bible speaks speaks of uh, for the end times that are only going to be about welcoming in the soon return of our King Jesus. And um, I put down here a cataclysmic storm because when God spoke that to my heart through the night from this following this dream, I woke up with the words cataclysmic storm and I knew it was coming and we're seeing that we've seen the covid breakout um we've seen the devastation that that has caused in our world and in so many lives businesses families and homes and i put down here cataclysmic is from the greek word cataclysmos which means a deluge or flood which signifies that that's why a tsunami can fit well within that uh, flood deluge. Two, a, it has a, a sense of catastrophe. Three, a momentous and violent upheaval and demolition broadly, uh, broadly. An event that brings great changes and international economic cataclysm. I believe we're going to see more of that break out in our world. Thank God that our source is found not in this world, our resource and all that we need to succeed as kingdom kids is going to be found in God's word and in living in his kingdom authority here on earth that we will like was said of David we will fulfill the purposes of God in this our generation just as David that shepherd boy with nothing who God uh, made him king of a nation God is going to give us all that we need to succeed to walk in his kingly, his priestly anointing and authority on the earth at this time. Cataclysm is any violent upheaval, it says in the dictionary, especially one of, interestingly, a social, military or political nature. So I'm going to share with you what the Lord spoke to me way back those months ago when I had this dream through the night. Uh, and I've put here from my journal, heard the words cataclysmic storm. Whatever happens in the world, you can live in perfect peace above it all. Whatever erupts, nothing can disrupt God's plans and purposes coming to pass in your life. God, read Psalm 2, he sits enthroned above the earth, above it all, and he laughs. That is our position of victory and authority as we uh, arise with him together with Christ. We are seated with our beautiful Father Jesus in heavenly places. There we can declare, we can decree and so shall it be for us. If our God isn't perplexed by what he sees on the earth, if he knows that all will ultimately serve his divine purposes and if he can laugh at the schemes and the wicked plans of man and the enemy, knowing that all will ultimately only serve into his victorious hands, how much more as his kids can, should we be laughing in victory? Should we be at peace? Should the joy of the Lord, which will bring that laughter uh, in your life, one of the greatest warfares that we have is that trust, complete trust in God, that we are not intimidated Philippians tells us, don't be intimidated by your enemies. This will be a sign to them that they are being destroyed, but that you are being saved 
even by God himself. That is God's word in the midst of what we will see outworked in our world as kingdom kids standing on God's word, we will only know victory because he only leads us in triumph. God sits enthroned above the circle of the earth and laughs as his child, you can too. Receive God's right now word for you. Whatever we see, listen, anybody who's saying peace, peace, prophetically we read in the Bible that we would hear that throughout the world. They'll be saying peace when really there is no peace. This world is not where our hope is. It's not going to get any better. The Bible tells us that our hope cannot be in the world. It cannot be in anything or anyone else than God's word and our King and his King Jesus. May we rise above it all with him. May we know the power of the Holy Spirit in this our day so we can serve his purposes in our generation. May we see many, many come to know Jesus so that they won't need to get caught up with the devastation and the destruction going on in the tsunami of sin and evil that will continually break out. Um, around them, but they can know the protective power and the keeping power of our great God too. A different word today, but I'm speaking prophetically to say, in Christ alone we place our trust and we are more than overcomers through Christ Jesus who loves us. He speaks these things to us that in him we might have peace. In this world you will see trouble and tribulation but be of good cheer. Jesus says the host, the Lord of heaven's armies declares to us be of good cheer. I have overcome the world in Jesus name the spirit and the bride in revelations we read says come lord jesus come to your children come by your holy spirit and fulfill your purposes and ultimately jesus make us ready for your soon return make your church ready make your bride ready as we cry come lord jesus we love you we praise you jesus and i release what I sense has been your word into my heart for today. Take 10 in one take. So Lord, you have your say and you have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.